Hey guys, it's Clearly and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very fun video. I'm doing another Teen Topics Talk. You guys seem to really love the Teen Topic Teen Topics Talk? Teen Topics Talk? Teen Topics Talk. Sounds so weird. And so I'm going to be doing another one. And today I'm going to be doing high school advice. I'm so excited to do this one. This one was a highly requested one. So without further ado, let's just get on to the video. Okay, pull my phone out. And we are going to start at the very, very bottom. Okay, underscore Julia116 asks, Do you want to go to public school again? And if not, why? Um, I debated this for a very long time. Literally, you guys, I was trying to figure out if I should go to high school, if I shouldn't go back to high school, and what I should do, if we travel more. There was lots going on. Um, for a little bit of time, I really really wanted to go to school and everything just didn't seem right like it just didn't seem right to go to school because if we traveled that just wouldn't be a possibility and I thought maybe I could take some electives like um, I'm LDS and so I do this thing called seminary comment down below if you have seminary and if you're LDS if not I will put a link maybe in my description um, but I was like, maybe I could do seminary and maybe yoga or something. And so I decided I could do that. But then again, last time, so for the last two weeks that I was in school, like Christmas time, in between moving as well as figuring out homeschooling, not homeschooling. So my mom took me out of a good portion of my classes and I only went to a few of them, the core classes. And so seminary was one of them. And... We traveled and I just plummeted and so that wasn't going to be a possibility. So I have decided, sorry for all the talking, I have decided I'm going to still be homeschooled. Maybe I'll um, like go to lunch with my friends sometimes while we're there and who knows. But good question. Um, K, um, K -cap, uh, K Cap L O 2 said, what grade are you going into? I'm going into 10th grade, only technically three more years of high school. Almost done. Um, Caroline underscore Kinkota Kata. I'm sorry if I spelled said it wrong. How do you deal with stress of high school? Was how do you deal with stress of high school? They asked many questions, so I'll start with that one. So it was very hard starting ninth grade and traveling in YouTube. We actually only did one trip, and that was to Disneyland. And I had I took honors English, and that killed me. I was at an A, an A. And I was starting to slowly get down to A minus and almost B. And then I went to this trip. Literally, it was literally a few days, guys. It was five days. And because of A and B schedule, I only had like two days of English. I went down to like a C plus. And so it was really hard for me. I was able to get my grades up. I actually don't remember having the stress. I definitely know that there was stress there, but I don't remember it. But honestly, I would watch high people doing like their nighttime routines or whatever, or high school routines, and it just inspired me to keep working hard, I guess. I'm not sure, so there you go. She also asked, what subjects are your favorite and least favorite? My favorite subjects would have to be like business subject, um, and choir. My least favorite, math. I hated math. I didn't get it either. Underscore Ruma, I, um, underscore R-U-M-A-I-S-A-A -A -A underscore O seven asked, what's the hardest part about school? So when I was in high school, whoa, when I was in high school, the hardest part was catching up when I had missed a few days. That was definitely the hardest part the teachers were very much stricter. But if you get the right teachers, your high school could be amazing. If you get the wrong teachers, your high school could be horrible. So it really depends on the teachers you get and stuff. And there's a boy at school that you have a crush on and the boy is being mean to people. Should I still have a crush on the boy? Oh, I'm guessing this is a personal question. So I feel like Women, my, we've talked about this lots. Women can have a huge influence on, say, your boy, on their boyfriend or their husband. So if you two started to like each other, 
I feel like it would have an influence on him. And if you, if he ever sees you or watches you and you are being rude, maybe he will think, oh, okay, it's fine. Or, oh, it's fine that I'm being rude too. But if you're being super nice to people, complimenting people, always smiling, they'll be like, oh, I should probably be a little bit better. So you can have a huge influence on him. And you can always tell him, hey, you should stop. Anna underscore ankle asked, do you get more homework as you get older? So what's super funny is during the first week of school or even the first two days of school, like when you go to your classes, they will say, we don't like homework. We're not going to do homework. What that really means is if you don't get your homework done in class, you'll have to take it home, which happens to a, a good portion of people. And so I, I felt like seventh grade up to ninth grade, like seventh and eighth grade, there was just as much homework as ninth grade. And I'm not sure about 10th grade, but for homeschool, I literally have no homework because homework, I don't know, my parents explained it to me, but yeah, it really depends on your teacher. And if you are very proactive and you get it done at home, then you'll be good to go. Caitlin underscore DXX asked, I'm not, I'm, I'm now going, to, I'm just kidding. I'm now going to ninth grade and I'm worried it's all going to be really hard. Is it? And what is your favorite subject and why? Um, congratulations on going to ninth grade. I was super worried as well. The first, like, we do this thing called Father's Blessings. Again, I'm Mormon and so that's what we do. Our family does. Holy crap, where Dilly is this? What's going on with my baby here? So I was really nervous to go to ninth grade because it's a different school. It's high school, in fact. Wait, ready? So I was really worried because it's ninth grade, it's high school. You're in the last four years of your schooling. There's lots of really much older kids than you. Gonna be some cute boys. And I was super worried, but when I went to school, it was actually so much fun. I loved it so much more than 7th and 8th grade and elementary, although maybe not the la the first two years of my school. Those are some good years. Golden years, babe. Uh, bays. Anyways, sorry, I keep getting off track. And you have a lot more freedom. So, like, I was able to walk with my friends to... Uh, um, restaurants that were nearby. We would go and get drinks sometimes. The teachers can be a little more strict, but again, it always depends on the teacher. But it was so much fun, so don't be worried. And if you have friends, make sure to keep them close. You guys can go to like lunch together, or you might have classes together. So you're going to be good, I promise. You will love it. Boys are also a lot nicer, depending on the ones you know. Like my first day of school, there were so many boys that opened the door for me and like I watched the boys, I'm not a freak or a creeper, promise, but they were all much nicer and much more mature. But then again, there are some that are, there's also a lot of kissing. Letting you know right now, there's a lot of kissing. All right, you guys, thank you so much for everyone who commented. This was such an awesome video. I hope you guys liked it. I loved it. I love giving advice to you guys. So make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe down below and go and follow my Instagram in the description so you can comment questions and I can answer them. And make sure to comment down below some other teen topics talk uh, videos. And I will see you guys next time. Wait. Till next time, I love you all. Mwah.